Mayo's Armada legacy. On the 21st of September 1588, Don Alonso de Leyva, the commander-in-chief designate of the ill-fated Spanish Armada, walked ashore in Tullahan Bay in Ballycroy, County Mayo. His flagship, La Rata Santa Maria den Encoronada, an 820-ton converted merchantman Carrick, had entered Blacksod Bay on the 17th of September. De Leyva sought a safe anchorage in the shelter of Ackle Island for fresh water and ship repairs from the tempestuous seas and gales battering his ship. Sailing eastwards into Blacksod Bay and finding rapidly shallower waters and a tidal race, he anchored. The anchor dragged and the Rata went aground near Fahi Point. The Rata had over 450 men on board, 335 soldiers, 84 seamen and 60 Spanish noblemen and their servants. De Leyva and his company disembarked and occupied nearby Duna Castle for four days. The Rata den Encoronada was torched to deprive the English of this prize, a vanguard ship of the Armada. Anything of value and transportable was removed, however great pieces of cannon, munitions, wine and oil were left behind. De Leyva knew that two other Spanish vessels, the Duquesa Santa Ana and the Nuestra Senora de Bagona, were in the bay to the north. With local guides, they marched around Blacksod Bay and met with Captain Don Pedro Mares of the Duquesa and another Spanish company of 600 men who had occupied Turan and Ellie Castles on the Mullet Peninsula. De Leva and Mares decided that the Duquesa would sail for Scotland and the Nuestra Senora de Bagona would make for Spain. By the 25th of September, Gerald Comerford, Sir Richard Bingham's sheriff, had reported that the Spanish had gone to sea. The Duquesa was wrecked further north in Donegal. The Nuestra Senora made it home to Spain. Of the 26 Spanish Armada vessels that were wrecked on the Irish coast in 1588 and of five in Mayo, none are as easily located in shallow water than La Rata, although its precise location has not yet been found. In 2004, an American marine archaeologist, Chuck Mead, after visiting the location, concluded that it is likely that, despite its burning, most of the Rata's lower hull remains intact, along with a significant amount of artefacts, possibly including cannon. The site lies in a sandy spot which has clearly facilitated the preservation of its hull for centuries. With a magnetometer and side scan sonar, it should not prove too difficult to relocate this site given their relatively narrow search area. The extent and condition of the site of course, cannot be determined without being relocated and assessed by archaeologists. That being said, however, it is probably in a relatively stable condition and having been largely forgotten, not in immediate danger of looting or other disturbance. Given the vessel's importance as the commander-in-chief designate flagship of the Spanish Armada fleet, its loss in relatively shallow water, Ireland's historical ties with Spain and the potential interest from tourists and maritime survey an excavation of the site is advocated to determine if the site could yield a potentially crowd-drawing exhibition of regional tourism value. This could be exhibited in nearby Ballycroy National Park.